Dogs have been human companions for thousands of years, and they can be trained to protect us, pull things, and just be an all-around best friend. But some dogs have inherent traits that are due to crossbreeding, and one of those traits is aggression. Are you curious which dog is the most aggressive and most powerful? Check out this list of some of the most aggressive and powerful dogs. Doberman Pinscher This breed of dog combines elegance and strength with speed and endurance, and is regarded as the third best guard dog in the world. The Doberman has a reputation for being a dangerous dog. There is no doubt that this animal is fearless, loyal, and intelligent, and have been bred to be the ideal watchdogs. They have sleek, muscular bodies and definitely look intimidating and can be easily recognized by their brown and black coloration similar to the Rottweiler. And their ears and tails are often docked, giving them tall, pointy ears which add to their intimidating appearance. This breed dog isn't naturally aggressive, but they definitely can be towards strange dogs and strange people. They are not the dog to leave alone in a backyard or in a kennel for a long period of time. Prisa Canario This dog breed is massive, and it is said that it was bred originally for an Aryan Brotherhood dogfighting ring, but of course were also bred to protect livestock. These animals are also known as a canary dog of prey. They must be with a very experienced owner because these are not safe animals to own and can be a danger to people and of course other animals. They are natural guard dogs and highly suspicious of a stranger and will act aggressively towards any people or animals that they don't know. They are powerful and have a thick muscular and rectangular body much like that of a pit bull and are sometimes mistaken for the breed. The difference is their broad brachycephalic head shape, usually featuring cropped ears which add to its aggressive appearance. They usually weigh around 85 to 110 pounds and stand around 2 feet tall. Due to their aggressive tendencies, they have been banned from several countries. They are allowed in the USA, but not recognized by the American Kennel Club. Tosa Inu This breed of dog is also known as the Japanese Mastiff where it originated, and it's actually quite a rare breed of dog. It has a heavy muscled appearance and was developed for dog fighting. This dog can grow up to 200 pounds and have a height up to 32 inches. Many countries have actually banned this breed because it can be considered a dangerous animal to own. And because the dog was bred as a fighting dog, even an experienced owner can have some trouble due to its aggressive behavior. The dog can form strong bonds with family and be an incredibly loyal protector. It can get along with children, but rough play can trigger this dog's fighting instinct. This same instinct will always be aggressive when it comes to other dogs, and it's not recommended that this dog is around any other breeds. This massive dog excels at weight pulling and is incredibly strong, but it is banned in some countries because it's such a dangerous breed. The Tosa Inu has recorded a pressure bite of 556 pounds per square inch, which is way more than enough to break bones in two. Central Asian Shepherd this dog is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world with a history spanning back some 5,000 years. The interesting thing is that it was not a dog bred by man, but instead that originated as a result of their climate and circumstances. It is a large and powerfully built dog that has big boned and muscular legs and has a broad and powerful back. This shepherd has a large head and a short powerful neck and when full grown can weigh up to 180 pounds. Thousands of years ago, when this dog first formed its bonds with humans, they were used for herding and even dog fighting. In ancient times, the shepherds of these Central Asian regions would gather on occasion and fight their most prized dogs to find out which one was the strongest. Although that sounds cruel, the fights were rarely lethal, and the weaker, more submissive dogs would back down before there was an actual physical fight. Of course, breed lines that are bred for fighting have higher aggression towards other dogs. Neapolitan Mastiff This is a guardian breed from Italy that has a beast of an appearance with its astounding head, his opposing size, and attitude. Once you get past the shock or your first impression upon seeing one of these dogs, you're able to appreciate the animal. Just because this dog is big, 
Don't let that fool you into thinking it's lazy or clumsy. This dog can turn into a fierce protector at a moment's notice. The inheritance of temperament is less predictable than the inheritance of its physical traits. And they can be aggressive, especially to another dog of the same sex or a strange human being. Make no mistake, this large dog will display predatory behavior towards any animal that may run, and a dog of this size and power is capable of some serious injury towards another animal or human being. Adult males measure around 31 inches tall and can weigh up to 160 pounds. It is said that the Neapolitan Mastiff temperament can make him, simultaneously, the best and worst dog you ever own. Goldong or Pakistani Bulldog This breed of dog originated in Pakistan where it's also known as the Bully Golter and was bred by crossing a pure Golter with a Bully Kuda or Pakistani Mastiff. A fully grown male can weigh up to 140 pounds and stand fairly tall at 42 inches. It goes without saying that these dogs are very strong-willed and can be very aggressive. This is not the ideal breed of dog to have as a family pet and is more suited to a life on a farm or in a forest somewhere. They are known for having a fierce and grumpy nature. The dog is very popular in Pakistan but is very rare throughout the rest of the world. Doggo Argentino Make no mistake that this dog is probably one of the most aggressive dogs in the world and is known to have the most powerful bites in the dog world with a recorded 500 pounds per square inch. Although this dog is a little smaller than Mastiff's, it makes up for this in sheer power. The dog was bred as a big game hunter's companion that is able to bring down a wild boar or a puma. The doggo originated from the Cordoba fighting dog, which was crossed with the Great Dane among other breeds. They can weigh up to 130 pounds, with all of it being lean muscle. There are many breeders who will say that the aggressiveness was bred out of the doggo argentino and that it can be a good family dog. However, there is the potential for this dog to attack with lethal consequences, including a recent story of a woman being fatally attacked by the family doggo. As a result, the animal is banned in many countries, including the UK and Australia. It's also been found that this breed of dog is preferred by dog fighters, and that puts it in the category of a dog to be feared. Rottweiler Believe it or not, this dog was bred to be a butcher's dog and was able to work with livestock and pull carts to the market. But with its unmistakable black and brown fur appearance, the Rottweiler can be one of the scariest looking dogs around. The dog shows a natural guarding instinct to protect his home and family as it's part of its genetic history. However, the strength and power of this breed can make them potentially dangerous when put into the hands of an irresponsible or confused dog owner. Even puppies can show aggressive behavior and snarl and show teeth to their new owners in feeling out who the alpha male is. These dogs can be dangerous and grow up to 110 pounds and have very strong legs and shoulder muscles. If you want to talk about bite pressure, the Roddy can clamp down on something with 328 pounds per square inch pressure. Boxer Boxers have imposing looks with their large heads and muscular bodies, and this is probably what scares most potential dog owners. They have a loud and powerful bark coming from their inherent watchdog abilities. It can be said that any dog can be aggressive, but with proper socializing, the boxer can be a great family protector. But they need a lot of attention and at least one to two hours of intense activity per day. Boxers from German lines are more forceful and can be a real challenge unless you are an experienced dog owner with some training experience. American Staffordshire Pitbull Terrier Amstaffs are strong-willed dogs and very powerful and require a lot of attention from their owners. If not, this animal can become destructive when they are bored and can become aggressive. Like many other dog breeds, aggression towards other animals is the biggest issue with the Amstaff. As long as the dog comes from a reputable breeder, the animal will not become aggressive to other humans. Because these animals were bred to fight, if they feel threatened by another dog, they will become aggressive. These dogs aren't the biggest on the list, 
but they can still weigh up to 80 pounds and stand 20 inches at the shoulder and can clamp down on something with a bite pressure of 235 PSI. The Chow Chow This is a dog breed that you normally wouldn't expect to be aggressive, but they actually have a problem with this. In fact, it's the dog's biggest issue. They might look like a big fluffy ball of hair, but their bellowing bark and scowling expression is enough to make you think twice. Owning a chow takes an experienced leader and is not a breed for the first time dog owner. They are dominant dogs and do not like being told what to do. Forcing them with a strong hand can lead to avoidance behavior and the dog may even retaliate. These dogs are smart and if they see an opportunity to manipulate a situation, they will take it and run with it. These animals should not be raised around small children and there should be no other dogs in the family. They are naturally protective and that instinct, if left unchecked, can lead to very aggressive behavior. German Shepherd In 1914, at the beginning of World War I, the German Shepherd began serving with the German military, performing a number of tasks including sentries, messengers, and ammunition carriers. They even led injured and blinded soldiers off the battlefield to safety and medical attention. These dogs excelled at performing numerous heroic acts under very stressful and dangerous conditions. Aside from all this, the German Shepherd is known for their aggressive behaviors and tendencies. It is the behavior which makes them good, strong guard dogs. Of course, this doesn't mean that a dog owner should encourage this behavior because it can become incredibly dangerous quickly. German Shepherds are also known for being incredibly intelligent. The problem with their aggressiveness is in their strength. The pure bite strength of a grown German Shepherd is enough to break a bone and cause very serious physical injuries. This breed can also become very territorial and possessive, and if they feel they are being invaded or there are unwanted guests or other animals, it can lead to an aggressive outburst. As with all dogs, they need constant socializing and positive attention so they do not have the bad traits that make them an unsafe animal. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'd like to know which one of these dogs is your favorite. While you're commenting, don't forget to share, like, and click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.